What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Brian Felix here with Mendez Mobile Detailing. Y'all see it, man. Y'all see it. This is the best mobile car detailing channel. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. So if you don't know who I am, I am a detailer. I have a detailing business and I put, you know, as many videos out spreading knowledge right and just bringing value to you guys so that you can start your mobile detailing business and make some money a lot faster than not you know knowing what i'm teaching in this channel so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already i'm gonna keep uploading a lot a lot of videos now uh but yeah anyways enough with that also check the link down below if you want to buy some merch and support a local business or a small business make sure you guys check out the link so right now we're actually driving you guys can see I'm in the van, right? So we're actually driving to our client right now, and we have a maintenance detail that we're gonna go ahead and do. We have a basic interior, and then a basic just wash and wax, no clay bar in or any machine polishing or anything like, ooh, that thing is nice. Y'all see that? That Beamer? Yeah, that joint nice. So yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna go ahead and do a basic interior and exterior detail in this van. It's a, uh, I think it's a 2022 Infiniti SUV. It has a pretty nice color to it, so I can't wait to, you know, show you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get there. Right now, I'm just listening to music, just chilling, just vibing, trying to get positive energy into my brain, into my body. So yeah, man, enjoy the video, sit back, relax, and I'll catch you guys when we get there. Let's get it. All right, you two, so we are here at the first client. It's an Infinity SUV, like I mentioned. Beautiful, beautiful color. Have no idea what color this is, but this thing looks so nice. Super nice. You might not ever see a car like this, honestly. So it's a QX55. Looks very nice. Look at the tail lights on it. Very nice. Now, <clears throat> the car has a slope, like driveway, so I just wanted to go ahead and do it down here. Plus, if there's any water or anything left, then we could just do it you know, down here. So this is the condition of the car. Just needs a wipe down. Honestly, it doesn't need too much of a vacuum. But I know they have a pet, so there might be something back here. How do you open this trunk? Oh, there's like a little button on the triangle. So yeah, they have pet hair right there. You guys can see. Kind of see it. It's probably the only area that will have pet hair on the trunk because that's where they keep their dog. And then passenger side, look at that, you guys. Barely any dirty, any dirt, I mean, barely dirty. Just gonna go ahead and use my compressor, blow everything out, then vacuum, and then just wipe it down. But first, I wanna wash it. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it first. Wheels don't look too bad. So this is a maintenance car. Like I said, we're charging 120 for this car. It's not bad at all. Probably take, it's 1030. I came a little later because it was just cold this morning. It was like 20s. Or now it's probably like 30 degrees. Hold on, can you guys see me? Oh, come on camera. There we go. All right, so right now it's probably like 31, 32 degrees. Still a little cold, but you know I don't want to keep pushing my day back like I, you know, had to yesterday so i'm gonna just go ahead and get set up get started and then i'll put the tripod and start recording for you guys so enjoy the video you guys saw the condition it's in let's see how long it takes us all right youtube it's your boy brian felix y'all know what time it is time for a voiceover man so what i have in that spray bottle is a well let me talk about what the bottle is so it's actually a marilex pump spray and these bottles i believe are like 35 40 bucks on amazon but i recommend them a thousand percent you guys just look at how quick and easy it is for me to spray those rims and stuff like that not only am i spraying the rims i'm spraying the tire and the wheel well all at once uh compared to using this regular spray bottle it's just a big big difference you know anywhere you can save time i would definitely invest in that right so you guys have seen me do two tires two rims and wheels at the same time and i usually do this if i'm by myself you know i just you know just better for me to just knock them both out and i'm actually doing the door jams and stuff like that on the way to the other side because i couldn't reach with my hose so you know i, I don't know like for me 
I'm always trying to see like not not find shortcuts, right? Because I'm not trying to lower the quality of service that I'm providing to my clients, right? But I'm you know gonna refer to it as a shortcut, as in what can I do since I'm on this side of the vehicle anyways that I'm gonna do anyway, right? You get what I'm saying? So like I was walking towards the front of the vehicle so i just you know went ahead and did the trunk jams you know like why not you know i still need to get it done it's still in the checklist so let me just do it now you know it, it will come with experience and stuff like that now if you're new and you know you might just want to focus on one thing at a time right so if you're doing wheels just focus strictly on wheels don't try to do door jams and stuff like that because you'll just get easily distracted and you might you know forget some stuff so yeah so this is a very very nice looking car here i definitely like you know don't recommend you guys do anything because it's kind of showing some personal stuff it's kind of showing their license plate and their house address just you know if you're watching this video just please 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 don't do anything crazy you guys because that's gonna be a bad rep on me and stuff like that so anyways I have a rag company, the Gauntlet Touter. I believe it's 20 by 30. I prefer the smaller one compared to that bigger one because it's just easier to, you know, maneuver with the smaller towel. And they work really, really good. You guys can see I'm just doing one pass and the car's already getting dry, which is, you know, very important when you're detailing and stuff like that. too so you guys see i did a whole entire wardrobe change because i just got hot <clears throat> drinking coffee here so i'm drinking coffee so it's keeping me warm so i got hot so we washed the entire car we dried up the door jams the wheels are done the uh gas cap is cleaned and dry the entire vehicle is dry now we're just gonna go ahead and do a quick vacuum starting with the trunk because that's where the most dirt and dog hair is so i'm gonna go ahead and take care of that first and then we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the rest of the car so i'm gonna just go ahead and push these four sometimes i don't do these with newer vehicles because they're like set for specific people so once i close the door and i reopen it it just like shifts by itself this one hasn't done it because i probably didn't move it that much but you guys get what i'm saying if you're detailing you though you know that there's tons of cars that operate like that so we finished the outside all we have to do to, all we have to do on the exterior is just go ahead and do the wheels and windows and then we used our shocket kind of to use that as, as a drying aid add a nice gloss to the paint i might i might do a um a light uh application with my polisher with our polymer sealant uh jazz car just might might do it if i have enough time to and then I'll probably just do that last because I'll probably just, you know, figure out if I have time or not. So, gonna go ahead and start with the vacuum. And then, once I'm done that, I'll go ahead and wipe down the interior real quick. And then, once I'm done that, I'll jump on the windows and glass. And then, we'll see after we do the wheels, we'll see if we have time to do the Jazz Car quick polish. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the interior now. Let's get it.
All right, you two. So we are completely done with the vehicle now. Now it's time to go ahead and put the stuff on in the van. Get up out of here and go to the next client. So hopefully you guys like this video. I know it wasn't too in-depth on how we do maintenance details and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's pretty basic. So, you know, we pretty much just washed it waxed it right with our shocket ceramic coating spray and then we did the same on the wheels so we sprayed the wheels with the shocket dressed them up with the uh tire shine and then we cleaned the exterior windows as well as the inside glass and then we just you know dried up the trim and stuff like that just cleaned it up nice and good and then as far as the interior it's just the basic vacuum and wipe down you know it wasn't nothing crazy going on in here i'm gonna go ahead and leave our mendez fragrance in here and then the back it was pretty basic you know that's why i didn't show you guys too much because there's not much to see you know and i get a lot a lot of questions on brian where do you buy these custom air fresheners with your logo and here's gonna be the answer so i have a bunch of these air fresheners if you're new to the channel they have my logo on them it's pretty pretty uh pretty good clients love these things man so i'll get these from makemyfresheners.com so you can go on google and put makemyfresheners.com i usually buy like 200 at a time because it's cheaper if you only buy one it's probably going to be a little more expensive but if you buy a whole bunch it's probably going to be like a dollar each so here's a look at the infinity one last time i'm gonna go ahead and record with my phone real quick just to make a quick reel of this car because it just looks too good leave my freshener here and then we'll head off to the next client I just want to say make sure you guys like comment share subscribe thanks so much for watching hopefully you like this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one let's go